tour button going on here. I know it's 7 a.m. on the dot. I know a few people will be creeping in, but it's so good to be back. Oh my gosh, it just felt good typing the words copy and consistency and combining that with breakthrough. So I'll get into a little bit of that here in a second, but open up the chat. I'd like to hear where are you all tuning in from and what level of fire are you at on a scale of one to 10? So it's a two part question. Where are you tuning in from? What's your fire level? I hope to see a bunch of 10s. There we go. Cause I'm at like an 11 right now, 12 fat burning. I'm channeling, for those that don't know the story, when I first went in fat burning, I was working a job. They made me go sit in the corner cubicle because they were like, dude, you have too much energy. And I'm, they're like, you need to scale back on the coffee. And I was like, it's fat burning. I, I don't know what it is. And they're like, what's fat burning? And that's how they all ended up being my clients. <laughs> so, all right. Okay. Other question here, because normally we open it up with wins, but there's too many. You guys are all on fire. So the next one would be is in one sentence or less, what is your biggest win this last couple weeks, this month, whatever the case may be? What is your personal biggest win? I got to mute a few people here real quick. Hang tight. I love it. I love it. Oh, there's so many wins. That's why you guys are my favorite. I love people that want to break through and move forward. It's the best. You guys are like, you guys are all the coffee I need. I'm just joking. I had to replenish. I didn't have the be active hydration this morning. That would have been nuts. I'm just in fat burning. Well, I got to mute a couple people here. Quick disclaimer, if there's not a red line through your microphone, you are live on the call. So let me just double check. Kaylee, Lisa, I can see you. Can you guys hear me okay? Good this morning? All right, good to go. Okay. Oh, eight by three by three, three by three, consistency and helping coaches so, so much. Cindy, you just got married. Congratulations. I saw your name in the back office differently. And I was like, who's that? I was like, oh, yes, Cindy got married. Congratulations. Oh, there's so, so many wins. All right, let's jump into it because we got a lot to cover today. I hope you guys have your maps and your notepads. Give me a two in the chat if you guys got that. Raise their hands. All right, I know you guys are ready. This call today, all right, so let me give you a disclaimer on this. So hope you grab your copy. If you read my post, you know that I'm going to jump right into today. Um, we're going to get right to it because you guys are all on fire and you're killing it. We're ahead, like we're continuing to have record numbers this month. And as you guys probably saw in the group, we're, we're shooting for 50,000 lives touched and you guys just across the board are killing it. Like, so quick, take a second, take this hand, take this hand, self five, cause you guys are awesome. Yeah, you guys did it. That's awesome. All right. Um, so we are going to jump into it today, but the next two weeks, are for people that want to grow and join us on the cruise, that want to break through and help others break through, that want to keep the tempo high. This, so this next two weeks calls are going to be about actions and just a continuation of systems and a little bit of a twist on that. But ultimately also people that want to join us at the summit and just want to set up the next four months like Dan talked about and have a breakthrough new year. So can I get a three in the chat if we are all committed to that? So I can just go unplug and we can just share some knowledge. Okay, so we're going into action today. All right, the next two weeks will be all about action. I'm just going to give you a straight up on that. We're going to cover some systems. And I was, gosh, I'm just, in, I'm just been in so many conversations with you all that like I know you guys are doing the do. So I was like, okay, what's the best thing that we can do with like all the new coaches that have come on and got a great start for all the new executive directors, for all the people that are pros because it's always back to the basics. I was like, let's hit on action. And let's get into the orientation action. And then let's just do like a checkbox list as we go through the systems. So that's what you're going to be doing today. Hopefully you guys will do like a mental check. Like there's actually like an emoji checkbox on everything that I'm doing today. So you guys can see that. I'm actually going to start sharing my PowerPoint real quick here. Share real quick. Share the screen. And boom. There we go. Okay. It's always technical difficulties. All right, how are we looking now? All right, Kim, I can, Kim Gray, I can see you. How's my screen look? Look good? All right. All right, so like I was saying, the next two weeks are about like the checkbox and actions, and that's where we're going to go to, and it's going to lead us up to, because the reason why we were trying to figure this out is Dan is going to lead this into a sponsoring three-week boot camp that's going to start on the 29th uh, of this month. 
So the next two weeks will be about this, and we're gonna cover all the system stuff. I know a lot of people want to know like a little bit more in depth about supporting clients, so that will be next week. And this will tee us up because I really, Dan actually brought it up and it was a great idea. He was like, you know, we really didn't hit the sponsor. We hit all the mindset, hit a lot of action stuff. Gosh, the starting clients with, with Julie Baker was so good, all those things. He's like, but let's really hit sponsor because once you know the breakthrough for yourself, once you know your systems are down, well, then you know the true gift that you're giving away. So now let's hit on. I was like, everyone's like, let's do it. So that will start three weeks at the end of this month on the 29th as we finish up this month. But the next two weeks will set us up for that. And we're just going to dive into it today. So um, let me see here. Oh, and we might have, you know, everyone that's on here tonight or this tonight, this morning, we may do some extra promotions like little like incentives, things like that, but you got to pay to play. So the people that are here, those are the ones that get it. So because you get it for being consistent. And that's where, you know, breakthrough happens. So let's dive in today. All right. Hopefully I haven't like scared you with my energy this morning, but you know what? It's your own fault because you guys are on fire and I just love watching. Like, sometimes you guys, like my favorite thing to do at night is just scroll through Facebook and watch your guys' breakthroughs. Like Jen and Jason, Jen, I saw you not, the post about you not going back to teaching this year. That was fantastic. Like, and there's just so many ways I can't even go into all of this. So we're just going to dive in today. And as we go through today, I want you guys to play the checklist or the checkbox game. Okay? Is this a cornerstone I have in this business? Because what I promised you all this morning and for the next two weeks is we're going to cover everything you need to have a growing business. Like these are the things that I promise you. I dare you to try to not have these things and have a growing business. And if you don't have them, I dare you to do them and then call me up and tell me what it's helping you break through. And I'm also going to call on a few pro leaders today just for a quick tip. They don't even know what topic they're really talking on, but I know that they have this as a rock because their business proves it. So I'm going to have them speak a little bit to that. So this could be interesting, but bear with us. But that's what I also love too is the community part of this. And you know, that's my favorite thing. So number one, drop me, I don't know, let's just drop it. Let's go to a 10 in the chat. So that I'm at an energy level 10. How is your health journey this morning? It doesn't need to be like full on fat burn, but moving forward. So are you on a skit on a 10? Are you on fire in your health journey? Because everything, this is all about authenticity. You can't fake this and you don't have to be perfect. That's also part of the authenticity is that we can give people a system a structure, a place to have a safe place to grow in a system. Sometimes it's our failing, honestly, that is our biggest gift to people. It's like when I failed at things in the past, I was all alone and by myself. When I fail at this, I can pick up the next day and move forward. But either way, I want you guys to come back to this is where you have your health journey. Hopefully like a seven to 10. I'm like I said, I'm like 11 right now. So you have to bear with me on that. But if your business is in fat burn, you probably are. So this is just a great thing to come back to. Always thinking. That's another benefit of becoming a coach. You always get to be coming back to the idea of where am I at in my health? What's next? How am I moving forward? And not just physically, but in all areas of my health. So I'm actually going to bring on the first person just to give a little tidbit piece on that. And hopefully they're here. I gave like almost no heads up on any of this stuff. So Tim and Kelly, are you there and can add a piece to this, this little checkbox right here? So I know you guys have this checkbox. We are. We are. There we, go. we are. There we go. <laughs> all right, there we go. Yeah, we were having trouble with the mute. Um, we, you know, thanks for letting us speak on this because this is one area of being uh, at the stage of life we're in and some things going on all the time, like life always happens. We do watch this very closely. We stay in our six feelings and get activity every day, especially this guy. He does, uh, he makes sure we get to the gym or to our outdoor healthy motion, our beach workouts and stuff. So I don't know, I'll let you talk about that, but it makes such a difference. Yeah, it really is. It, it's it's such a it's such an easy structure to it just it, we just it's part of our lifestyle. Yeah. It is our lifestyle. So it's it's eating right. It's um, it's paying attention to our health journey. And, yeah. and by doing that, we are able to help more more and more people kind of figure that out as well. Yeah, real quick, you know, it's it's funny modeling that by just being active. It doesn't have to be in the gym, but being out active, focusing. But I'll tell you what else we find real quick is that if our health journey is on track, our business journey is on track. Because as you know, I have a lot of you veterans, if your health journey is going, going down or like your weight's going down, your business is going up. And uh, if you're building muscle, you're building a business. So we see that so tied in because of how our mindset is be, being active and, and physically aware of what's going on. Building muscle, building a business. I love it. It's so key. And there's actually an artwork on this. I'm not going to go into too much depth, but 
your health journey is a constant re-coming back and a creation, a piece of art, if you will. Same with your business. And when you're taking on new, exciting things moving forward, you can't help but be on fire and share it. Like, just, like I can go on so many examples, but Shereen Fleming, like great, solid, consistent business all these years. And you took on like some crazy fitness stuff this year and you could tell the fire and that fire has rolled into the next level of your business. So this is so true. I can brag on so many of you. Tim McKelly, great tip. So hopefully as we go through here, you guys got that check box. So check, get the fire emoji. This is going to be a lot of emojis today. So the next one, and here's a big one, and don't get it twisted. This is a for real one, and this is a game changer. And Don, I'm going to give you a heads up because I know you have bad reception because you're traveling. Another benefit of what we do. But a mid-month pulse check on your business. This whole, everything comes back together. But do you have this as a rock in your schedule? Somewhere between the 15th and 18th. I recommend action, so this is just a time to come back, look at your map. What am I tracking for? The same feeling you got when you looked at your map in the first place, like the people that are on it, the people you are dripping on, where they're at in their life. Not just are they ordering, but like where is the breakthrough happening in their life? What are you dripping on? Where are you taking them to? What have I made progress in on my goals? Like I talked to someone last night who was on top of this. Actually, Sarah Griggs, I'm just going to give you the props on it because your business is on fire. You were on top of me. You even did it early, and I was like, how far are you on track for your goals? We just looked at it. You're like, well, I started three clients. I want to start five. Like, you guys got all the things done. It's a great check mark. How messy is your map? Hopefully, it's ripped and tattered by now. And then basically, don't miss this step because these are all, and I say, I hate to be like, don't do stuff, but like, these are really, 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 and Tim's like smiling because he knows that these are the breakthrough points. Is these are the points of success is send this over to your support team not because you're reporting to them but because you know and you know you are clear on your goals and they know you are clear on your goals and then when that happens it's like like explosion that's when it's Kelly's like now she's not and she's like she knows because she sees what happens too is and then send them to your support team with not only what you're looking at right now but and not only what you're tracking for that's a pulse check time but what you are committed to doing by the end of the month, because we all know, for anyone that's been supporting people for a while, if you hear what someone wants, you're going to go to town. Getting And again, I'll just give you the stats that I know, because I don't really know why this is, but when someone tells someone they're supporting their goal, it's like, all right, let's go to work, and it just happens. That's what happens, is making the decision. We talked about that earlier on uh, one of the Thursday nights. And then possibly circling up for a few minutes. If you're on the way to executive director or new, I would recommend circling up. There's always something new at that rate in your business. It'd be like 10, 15 minutes, or you know, maybe if you're feeling really stuck on something, maybe you know, ask for a little bit of time. Like, you know, um, anyways, just I won't go into detail on that, but some of you might just need to go into action on your business with just confirming your game plan. I would say err on the side of, do you think we should meet um, on anything? Is there anything you see? That'd probably be the best to do. And this is a massive, massive, massive step of success. It's taking a step forward in your business. And I wanted to bring on Don Chow. Because Don, your and Brian's business has really been on fire for the last little bit. And I've noticed, I just, I mean, I could say anyone's done this really well, but I know you have succinctly and have a great team that it does this like, I always know it's the 15th of the month because it's like my support threads just go bing, 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 bing. <laughs> And you guys have the most people, new clients this month, like rate of like bringing on new clients, like just incredible stuff. So I just wanted you to maybe give a tip on this that you've seen, because also for those that maybe aren't as structured, you're like, I don't know if I want to get structurized. You weren't even a really big structurized person in the beginning. So I just wanted to see if you could drop a couple of tips because I know you know that this checkbox is huge along the journey. Yeah, Brad, hopefully you guys can hear me. Hey, you know, you're yep, traveling. Good. Um, you're right, Brad. And I have to say structurized. <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> um, structurized is not something that I necessarily had a few years ago, but it's pretty amazing when you actually just jump into the, uh, practice of it. And I, and I just want to encourage you guys, it's a practice. So wherever you're at now and wherever you want to be just staying in tune with your goals and what you want and the people you want to help and helping your team do the same thing. So I just got to give some shout outs because the people who decided to do this, their business or businesses are growing. And it's just because they're taking the time to slow down mid month and, ex and inspect what they expect. So it's easy in the beginning of the month to get really excited and to write your goals down. 
and then go right into action. But guess what happens in the middle of a journey? What happens to our clients, you guys, middle of their journey, right? They're excited. They've got their goals down. And then a few weeks in, they're like, maybe a little wobbly. That's where you just slow down. Remember why you started. Remember what's important to you and, and inspect it. So write it down. So Brad, everything you hit on is so important. Just where were your goals at the beginning of the month? Where are you now? Where are you now in achieving them? Probably halfway or more. And if not, what's happening? What's missing? And what's next? What do you want to do about it? And then you help walk your teams through doing the same thing. Um, and like Brad said, that map, filling it out, really taking the time to fill it out. Do, this is time for, I mean, you know, y'all know I, I used to be a nurse. So like the pulse check, how am I doing? How am I doing on my own health journey? Brad, your layout of today's call is brilliant because it literally is the pulse check. How am I doing on my health journey? How am I doing on my ways to, on my way to helping the people that I said I wanted to help this month? And then what action have I taken? Take a look at your Facebook. Take a look at how you're interacting. Take a look at all those conversations you're starting and then do a quick gut check fill out your map and send it into your mentor. I love it. I do absolutely love it around the 14th, 15th, 16th. 14th is a little early, but 15th, 16th, pop in your map over to your mentor because we can't read your minds. And it's so helpful to know what it is you want. And when you pop your map over and you're like, okay, this is where I'm at. This is my gut check. This is what I'm excited about. This is what I maybe have some questions on. This is where I might even be a little stuck. Should we meet? What do you think? Dude, you guys, so powerful. What you decide to do today will make all the difference of where you actually end up in the month and the lives you probably end up touching. So, Love it, Don. So spot on. And basically, I'll give you guys just the, the main one that usually matters to me because I'm a person that's like, oh, why, why is that? Because I've never seen anyone move to executive director without a map. How about that? Or stay there without it or grow without it or this step. So, Don, you did say because we can't read your mind. And honestly... I think Dan said it in one of the boot camps, you know, silence is not golden. It is the people that stay connected and link arms. That's where the magic happens. So really for real. And this, I love that Dan said this. He's like, he doesn't ask people for their maps. This is your responsibility. And that's also another step of an on fire business. You take the time to plug this into your schedule and you take the ownership of sending it to your support team because then they know you're hungry and they know who's like who to watch out for or who they're getting their back on. So not, you know, we take care of everyone, but that's how you know that your business can be lined up for fire. And it's also a decision on your part, which is, which is my favorite thing. So every time I act and I make a decision, that's when breakthrough happens. Here's just another one of like a map that I got yesterday. Like Don, you said 14 might be a little early. This person was pretty passionate, so they did it. So this person, this is what a map looks like of someone going executive director. You can see that they were senior coach last month. They got clear goals. They're higher on this map. is messy. I love it. And they have clear goals by the end of the month, not shooting for bare minimum ED. And they've got a full list of people right here. They've got their eyes on the prize. They sent this over yesterday. We got a clear plan, guaranteed call the shot. New executive director right here. We'll hear from them later. So this is what it looks like to have like what an on fire business looks like. Don, actually, I'll come back to that real quick. Last like 10 second tip, like, because you see a lot of these pop in. Anything you would give to this? Like if you're like one of those coaches that's like, ah, either you have someone on your team that you want to help do this so you need to you know this is a step or if you're one of those coaches that's like I want an executive director I want to be on that cruise right well exactly I want an executive director or I would really like to partner with some coaches or whatever it is that you focus on like I just want to give a shout out to Amber Spencer who um, a couple months ago was like I really want to get structured <laughs> and so we went into it and she's doing this and she's popping it over and guess what what you focus on totally grows. So bringing on new clients, bringing on new coaches, two new coaches so far this month. Whoop, whoop. And it's just because at the beginning of the month, she decided and she focused on it and then she's slowing down to inspect it. So if you do want that cruise, if you are focused on that next step, executive director, or helping someone else get there, knowing how far away you are and what needs to happen is the, because what you focus on is where you're going to go. Exactly. All right. Well said. And especially for everyone tracking for the cruise, because it shows you more often than not, the inspection shows you how much progress you've made and how close you are to your goals. Um, there may or may not be a post tomorrow that calls out all the people that are close to ED, because I'm going to show you guys how to project and how close you guys are. So how many people are close to that first step of the cruise? All right, here's the, so actually we'll go back here. Does everyone have that checkbox? This is probably the most important one today. It may even be an action step at the end of this call. So do we have that one? Is it in repeat on your schedule? The next one is 
time for the 10, three, and three each day, like for real. I was gonna have Ron Cecil share on this because I got the greatest voice text from him at, from to Ashley and I the other day. He's like, you know what, you guys, I've always kind of self-doubted myself and that I can like, that this might be for me, but I really committed to the 10, three, three. And it's really, I've like my last four out of five health assessments came from just reach outs. And the last one just immensely thanked me for reaching out to them. It was a powerful experience. And so just one, do you, are you doing this? Because the step works. I'm always surprised when people are like, I'm doing it and it's working. It's like, yes, it, it works. It really works every single time. But the biggest thing is, do you have time for it built into your schedule? One thing, whether you, whether you desire for yourself or not, Ashley and I desire for you to work well and rest well. We desire you to always be on because you should never really be off. You should always be on the things that matter most to you. And what we want you guys to do is to be able to efficiently be impacting people's lives. So do you have time? built into your schedule on when this works. So it's not always something that needs to get done. It's always like something that you just show up for, you do, you're consistent in. Because when the decision to be consistent happens, that's when the breakthrough happens. And this is what happens when you're consistent. It really does look like this. I, I would love to explain like again, but we've all seen this slide, but it really does work like this. The momentum build, you hit that boiling point or tipping point or whatever you want to call it, or you know, leg majority joining in but you start to hit that like omnipresence where everyone starts making the decision. Actually, how about this? Drop me a five in the chat if you guys have had that point happen in your business where you were like, all of a sudden, all the action just started like clicking because you were consistent. Drop me a five in the chat because you know what it feels like. Yes, Gina, totally, Kenny. I know you guys just had that. Nice job. Okay, Carlin, oh, so many of you guys. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's like, I didn't know if it was fully coming. It was going good and then all of a sudden, phew, so that would be my, my, my really big encouragement to you all. Stay consistent on this. This is the action step. So do I have that checkbox? That's 10 messages a day, three posts a day, three friend ads a day. And everyone, oh, I got to mute someone. Someone's unmuted. Hold on. Hey, Ashley, well, who's going to have to talk on this? Um, Danae, will you pop off? Are, Danae, are you available? I need to mute someone real quick. I can't find them. Are you available, Danae? Maybe not. Hang tight. Got to be somewhere real quick. All right. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. Oh, so good to see 200 people on a call this morning. Even like, that's awesome. So sorry. Got to distract here. So today must not be available or not able to come off mute. But so 10 messages a day, three posts a day, three friend ads a day. And the three friend ads a day, people are usually like, oh, do I need to go request strangers? No. I guarantee there's like 200 people right now that you should be friends with that you're not actively connected with on social media. That doesn't even... Talk about the people that you should be like meeting out in your world of sphere of influence by becoming more social. Like maybe even more, I'd say probably more like 500. So Allison Petty is a great example of that because she's like, I had my Facebook on lockdown when I got started. And now like Allison, drop in the chat. How many friends do you have on Facebook now? You seem to be doing all right. You seem to be running high frontline volume. But I'm not going to go into the details of this because Dan broke this down exactly like I would, I would fail if I tried to at all do it any better justice than what he did in the boot camp page. He did an unplug layout of what it looks like to be three, three, and three. And um, one second. There you go. Um, so what that looks like to do that. So if you need help on that, like watch that video. But it really goes in the detail of like saying hi, wherever the relationship is at. Just opening up conversation, having them on your intentional list. You know, making sure you go and like a, a like or comment on their page, like doing the full meal deal with the whole process and committing to this and seeing where the conversations go. I mean, how many conversations you start, you really committed to starting 10 a day. So if you haven't, so here's, here's the checkbox. Do you have time for it? And are you doing it? And just like anything, have you made the decision to do it? Because once you make the decision, the rest is easy. Do you need help on the details of it? The boot camp train lays it out perfectly. I was gonna have Danae talk on this because she is just doing so well, but I think Ron's story will suffice. I think I think that one's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good example. The next part of this, which goes hand in hand with it, is a Facebook connections list. So this is actually Danae's. That's why I was gonna have her talk on it because she sent this over randomly at some point a couple months ago. And just really, like, do you have a list of people? Like, this is how it's easy to do the ten messages a day because just go to your list. Where am I at in that process with that list? And this is great because it goes over. Are we friends on Facebook? I friend requested them. Go and like them. Send them a private message. And then the goal is to get them to engage in a combo, hopefully bringing up health. Like if you can do that, 
I guarantee we all know what the breakthrough that's happening in our life. We know that other people need it too. So that would be a really good reminder, side topic, to make sure your social media is displaying breakthroughs in all areas of your life. Like I can, I can give uh, so many examples, but not just weight loss. And not just weight loss for just your demographic, but all demographics, but also health and breakthrough and community. And like, you know, the list could go on, but are you displaying all things of health? And like Dawn's like about to like break your phone because she's nodding so hard. I love it. Because this is so key because how many people have like reached out to you? Actually, drop me, uh, what are we up to? Drop me a six in the chat. If you had someone um, reach out to you and you totally didn't think they would reach out to you on the topic they did. But it's because of something you just put. There we go. I love it. I love it because it's so true. The next thing besides having this list, and by the way, I'm gonna put my halfway to the call disclaimer here. If you're not doing all of these things that I'm doing yet, obviously you're on this call. Obviously you're doing well. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Just have clarity on what you are gonna go shore up next, and know that things can get easier, and you can hit that flashpoint in your business. So the hundreds list, the intentional connections list is a really great one to have because it makes it easier just widening your scope. But the next one, and I don't think we've actually really ever trained on the actual skill set, but it came up so much recently that I was like, we got to talk on this because it is the game changer. And if anyone who's really growing their business, you know you have this. Yes, you have a map. Yes, you have your hundreds list so you can do your, you know, your normally it's three, three, and three, but now we're committed to 10, three, and three. But a top, what we would call like a holding tank or intentional list. It's the same reason why the map works. Because that's how the map came to be, is helping someone do the action, get a really good list of people that they were focusing on for clients or coaches, you know, in all aspects, not just, you know, diet, just I'm throwing that out there. We don't want to look one dimensionally at this. And then having them spill over to people that were helping break through in their health and their life. So for those that are on fire, you probably have a ton of people. I would have a master intentional list that you're revisiting daily. Where am I at with this person? Where am I at with this person? This person, I'm, I want to do an integration call because I think we're going to do coaching very soon. This person said they want to get started on health, but I think they're going to become a coach right away. This person really needs community. Uh, this person said no, but they really mean yes. Like this person's been stopping my Facebook. They're going to be my client. Like the people that are growing the fastest have this. And so we've never really trained on it. So I was like, you know what? We've never really provided clarity on, on having this. So actually, Don, I was going to have Danae on here. But Don, again, everyone that we've done, your team's on fire. So everyone's team, everyone's on fire. But just going back, because this goes hand in hand with the mid-month pulse. So would you say anything? Is there anything you could add to that? Yeah. Well, and Fred, funny, should you say that? Because I was about ready to type in the chat, but I was trying to find it because I'm on my phone. Um, my list, my top 10 list just blew up over the last 10 or 15 days. Um, and I have to say, like, sometimes you have that top 10 list and you're working through it and you're doing such a good job of like following up and reaching out to people that a lot of those people start to get healthy. And that's where I was. I was where a lot of the people on that top list had signed up and they were getting healthy. And guess what? A good half of them are on their way to becoming coaches, if not already there. So I had to literally grab a fresh sheet of paper and be like, all right, time for me to make a new list. So wherever you guys are at, whether you're starting one or keeping one going, or you know what, it's time to like re, you know, make a fresh one and put the people at the top and then keep on going. That it's just kind of funny, Brad, that you mentioned that because I have practically a brand new list and it just blew up over the last couple of days and people are reaching out on topics I never thought that they would. And people I never thought would be reaching out are reaching out. Yeah, it's so true. And there's multiple reasons for this. One, I hope this helps you guys get simplified. That's our goal. But it really comes down to decisions and what you focus on is what grows. And I just have to say a little humor piece. So like Ashley and I, like Don, you, you commented on this with me this last week. You know, we're, we're, kind of, we're kind of at the capacity of clients we want. And that's what we want for your business. Like we got all the ones we want. But we want to lead by example. So we've been posting, doing this stuff. And like, honestly, it's like, dang it, we have so many clients. Because <laughs> if you do the steps, they work. And it, like, Don, you were cracking up. You were like, I don't even have time for these health assessments. And so just do the steps, stay consistent. These are the top things that will make the difference. I would say the intentional list will be a game changer. I know it's always been kind of written in there, and we just never really fully covered it. So today, you might, as you redo your pulse check, you might need to up this to a top intentional list. That's my thought on that. The last thing, or not last thing, the next check is do you have your rocks scheduled in your calendar or are you just trying to get as much done as you can in the day? 
So we've gone over this before. Do you have time built for your connection? Do you have time for the training? You guys are all here, so congratulations. Live, live is the deal. I don't know why, but again, people that are on live grow the most. I don't know, just it is what it is. I think it's a commitment and decision thing. But like the rocks in your schedule, so you know it, it really takes about eight to 10 hours. I would say at an ED level or grow into ED level to have a, a business like that. Obviously more when your business grows to be on the point where you can obviously give it more time, but that's what it probably takes. And if you do it really well, it doesn't take a lot of time. It just takes intentional time. And I always like the, the analogy of the rocks, pebbles, and sand. So if you put these rocks in, it just fits. So that would be this example right here. You notice how the sand and everything fits in the pebbles. But if you put the sand in first, then the pebbles, then the rocks, you don't have time for any of these rocks that grow your business. So really today your check mark would be and i know a lot of you guys are new coaches and this that would be my talk to you is mid-month is help work with your support team to get these rocks in. Because some of you guys weren't even coaching a month ago you know and that's fantastic some of you it's like you know you are now like oh this has gotten a little bit wobbly and some of you are like this is awesome i'm totally on top of that. that's why my business is like just cracking amazing so these would be the things you take a screenshot of this but it really comes down to these top things and i'm just gonna go through them real quick but it's like connection time built in and combine that with the time you send your daily text just like combine them together there's no reason why they can't be together at the same time a follow-up day follow-up is the magic lisa stewart covered that a, a few weeks ago it was super good um check-in day and backup day you've got to talk to your clients my friends like that's where real relationship and breakthrough happens or at least your consistency to call them even if they don't answer and you leave a voicemail and they will answer more if you have one day and it won't feel like so much work if you just plug it into your schedule you can do it in one or two days but ideally, just like one day, that's when your clients are calling. It doesn't need to be their way in day. It's a, it's a tell journey. So it can go each day, every single week. Pockets of time to build are built in for your health assessments and coach explorers during the week, knowing when you're more available. Team training each week. People that are on the trains grow. This is how it works. And then map intentionally created at the start of the month, sent to your support team, possibly meeting if you were part of that. I mean, again, I would say default on the area of asking if you should meet. And I always love people who are like, I'm hungry. Sometimes my, my favorite one is like, you have all the goods. There's nothing to connect on. You need to go do the action right now. And then a mid-month pulse check. If you have these in your schedules, I will show you a business that grows. So anyways, I know most of you guys have this. That's why we're crushing it right now. Congrats to you guys for all for having this, like, an intentional schedule of rocks. And actually, April, April, can you come off mute for a second? Actually, we're doing good on time. This is awesome. April. Yes. Yes. I wanted to call on you. Highest frontline volume, like five out of the last six months, I think. Maybe six out of six. And I love this topic because you were like the golden story of this. You were working so many jobs and you were doing so many things. And we literally had like, oh, April, you've got to do this. And like you like, I don't have time. You're like, you don't have time not to do this. Anyways, could you give some just like some tips that have helped you or others break through and why this is so important? Or how, how you've done it. Okay, thanks, Brad. Um, the first thing I did, it just really connected with, with you and Lori. And um, honestly, working with your mentorship team is going to do everything for you. Um, taking their advice. Sometimes you guys told me things that were hard for me to hear. And, uh, but I, I was determined that I was going to make this work and I was going to get rid of some of those jobs. So I did exactly what you just went over. I put in the rocks in my schedule. I used a paper calendar along with my, my iPhone calendar and really built in and found where I could work it in. Cause I was, I was working three jobs, working 60 to 70 hours a week and I have a lot of other extra stuff going on too. But you know, it's really all a matter of prioritization. That's really what it is. And then also working with my mentorship team, honing in the time that I was taking to do certain things. So for instance, if I was on Facebook um, doing the three by three by three and it was taking me an hour and a half, I obviously wasn't doing it right. So I was looking at cat videos. I actually don't look at cat videos, but I was doing something wrong because it really, every morning I do the Facebook thing and every morning it does not take me more than like five minutes. Um, then all working 
and figuring out when am I going to do my client support calls? When am I going to do, you know, what? it doesn't matter what it is. I cut back on watching television. That's one of the things I cut back on because it's all prioritization. And when you really look at the fact that I was working 60 to 70 hours a week, my income was, well, I live in California, so it's very expensive to live here, but I was like just squeaking by with that. And now I'm working literally 20 to 30 hours a week. I don't have any of those jobs. And I haven't for over a year. And I'm making way above the poverty line. I mean, I'm making what I was making in corporate America a long time ago at a very high level job. So really, if you really want to do this, set your intentionality, work team and everybody can do this everybody i love it april i love your example thank you for sharing like that goal so so good i want to like i'm going to refrain from talking about all the awesome things you just said because you just said them so well done and so the check box today would be like what are you going to shore up in this area do you need to connect with your support team to lay out some of these things but really just put them in your schedule and commit to them and just like anything practice it that's why we talk about the squiggly line like it doesn't just come down daily, but that's the art of, like, you guys see how this is all connecting together? Like, this conversation was at a middle-of-the-month pulse check that April was on top of. That's where that conversation happened that got her to commit to different things. And I think the first big win was she was checking with her clients all over the place, and then we got her to hone in on one day. And that helped you feel less frantic, and your client, everything just starts, when you hone in your business, you have a honed-in business and grow. So checkbox today, do you have this? And you get to put it on your schedule, so what do you want it to be? I do recommend putting family first. Like the best part about this schedule is you get to schedule it to help your other rocks be your rocks too. You better believe I don't miss swim on Thursdays with my son. It's like my best time like during the week. I love it. Anyways, moving forward. Well, I got to mute one second. Mute, mute. There we go. There we go. All right. Cool. Can I get a pulse check? By the way, since we're doing a pulse check today, how are we doing? Seven? Is this good information? Is this helpful for you guys? You guys ready to take this? Okay. Good. Okay. All right. I see some sevens. Just a few. Seconds. Yeah. All right, lots of them. All right, next one is. Oh, yeah, I need one more other person, real quick. All right, knowing how to set up a quality health assessment. These are some slides from the like the amazing Allison Petty. I'm gonna call on a second. Heads up to you, Al. Hopefully you're on. I didn't really give you any heads up on this. Um, is Allison on? I don't know if she is or not. She might uh, not have reception where she's at. But she used this, and Don, uh, I might have to, have to call you on you again for Allison for this. Moving it to the phone, I grabbed her slides on this, and moving it to the phone to make it easy to say yes. There is a quick, easy way. Do you have this skill set set up? Because honestly, for me, I've been doing this almost a decade now, I still have to think about like, okay, don't don't answer the hows before the whats. Don't, don't talk it up too much before I meet with them. Like, where am I at in this process? Like, just keep it simple. Focus on the steps of the system that work, and it works every single time. So move it to the phone and making it easy for someone to say yes to connecting to explore their health. For new coaches, like the disclaimer for this one is, make sure you work really closely with your support team because you want to do your first five with your support team. And if you are a new coach and you're not getting it really, like it's not working out, connect with your support team. There's a few people I've seen some message threads recently where they're like, oh, that person doesn't want to connect, or oh, it's so hard. And like They like missed like the appointment for like the fifth time. It's like, it doesn't actually need to be that hard. You're like, if it's it's not situational. Everything works the same. I always love watching because they're like, oh, it's just me or this person special. It's like, actually, we're all really more the same. Sorry to be bold. If I told you I'd be unplugged. If you think you have a special situation, honestly, dive back into the system. I bet you'll be like, oh my gosh, it actually works. So Don, Allison might not have reception this morning. Can you speak to that real quick? Because she's really good at just saying, don't be weird, be relational, bring it to the phone. Yes, exactly. I was actually just kind of chuckling because getting lots and lots of new coaches started in it. So funny how it's easy to overthink it and it's easy to think that it's a special situation or that you need to be all rigid or something. You guys just, just be you, just be conversational. Just remember if they ask you a question, I love what Allison always says. You don't have to answer their question right then and there. That's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that they can hear your voice that they can hear how much you care and that you get to listen to what it is that they want. They might think they want an answer to a question, but what they really want to know is how will this work for me? 
And so we can't, we can't help them with that over messenger. We can't help them with that back and forth via email. We can help them with that when we hop on the phone and ask them the questions. So I find that sometimes that gap is, Oh, they messaged me. How do I, how do I take it to the phone? Just say, Hey, I'd love to chat. Here's my cell. What's yours? Are you free at two or five today? Which is better? Oh my gosh, how easy is that? And would that not work in almost every situation? So I don't know if Al was able to hop on. I know she's having some internet connectivity difficulties, but that's just it. Just don't overthink it. Just do it. And you know what? The best thing is screenshot that puppy over to your coach to double check and be like, hey, how am I doing? Is this good? Would you tweak anything? Any little nuances that I can, you know, change up a little bit? But that, that would be all I could say, Brad. It's perfect. So the checkbox would be like, do you feel really confident in that? Do you get, do you get like, sometimes I can even get there. Like, oh, this, oh, this is, yes, what do I do? I'm just, do so. just like, take deep breath. Like, they want to talk health. doesn't matter what they're asking. I love the example here. Can you tell me about what it is you do? This is this example over here by us. Hey, well, I'd love to share more. Are you, is it, depends on your health goals. Are you asking for you or someone else that you have in mind? I'll ask you for myself. She just immediately took it to the phone. Like, so do you have that skill? And yes, I have to agree with you, Don. For new coaches, or if you feel like your numbers aren't really on, take screenshots and send them on over. It's a perfect thing to do. So you have that checkbox, or have you caught yourself recently not getting it to the phone, or is this just a good check for you? This is just a pulse check. If we want to help you guys grow this month. The next one, actually, Lindsay, heads up to you. You're getting called on. Know how to do a quality health assessment making it fun, asking the questions. Uh, Lindsay and Ashley did a full on great training a couple Thursdays ago. And honestly, a lot of the feedback has been blowing your guys' mind on how well your assessments are going now. Layering the different options so that you have options throughout their journey um, and explaining the four components. So Lindsay, you just got back from Paris. Are you on or are you still on time delay? I'm, I'm on. <laughs> Because this is a priority and a rock in my schedule. <laughs> Proof right there. Okay. Actually, if you want to pick up, just add like a tidbit to the bring it to the phone and then take it to here. Any like top tips? Because you actually, the reason why I chose you is one, because you and Ashley nailed it on the combo on the train a couple weeks ago. But also, we had a conversation yesterday. You were like, you know what? When I see coaches losing clients, I'm always like, huh, I don't really lose that many clients. And I know why, because your systems are tight on this. So, Anything that would really make the difference on do you know how to do a quality health assessment? Maybe starting just a little tidbit from how you bring it to the phone too. Just drop some knowledge real quick. Yeah. So, you know, bringing it to the phone is so important. And the reason is because we can't awaken people to what's possible by just sending them a website. So sometimes what I find with newer coaches is they're like, it's easier just to send the website, right? We don't want to waste people's time. But isn't it more beneficial to say, wow, that person took 30 minutes out of their day to do a health assessment for me, to ask me questions. So if you're getting in your head about getting to the phone or you feel like you're always saying, nobody wants to get on the phone with me, this is the time to lean into your support team, send them messages and see what's going on because doing the health assessment over the phone is really a crucial part to the entire journey. It sets the stage for like what's going to happen in coaching and how are we uh, going to support them in their journeys. So taking it to the phone is important. Like Allison always says, don't be weird. Just offer them times and call them. Uh, so as far as doing the health assessment, we have this tool as just a conversational piece. The point of the health assessment I found was that it was a guide. It wasn't an intake form. So I'm very familiar with the health assessment because I do a lot of them. So I'm very familiar with the layout, the awakening piece, getting the, the why before I tell them the how. But the key was I didn't just want to look at this health assessment form and say, okay, what's the next question I'm going to ask? Hurry up and ask them this question so I can ask them the next question. I'm letting what they're saying be the guide to what I'm going to ask next. So if you're getting really caught up in, oh my gosh, I forgot to ask them if they exercise, take a step back and just know that you're only having a conversation to ask people a ton of questions about their life. And then you're matching a program with their needs. So I hope that was helpful. Um, conversation and uh, not overthinking the questions is really my best tip on this.
Love it, Lindsay. So good. And so the other things that I would say on this, because I think one of the topics people really want to know is how do you do a 30-minute health assessment? Like how do you get it done around 30 minutes? So this would be the goal is set it up. The key during just anything with your clients is going to be showing them what the expectations are. Hey, I'm going to be asking a little bit about what you want to accomplish in your health. Like this should take about 30 minutes, like, or, you know, or give it a time of 20 to 30 minutes um, and giving them the expectations of it. Um, when you connect with them, like to give you some more details, like Lindsay can do these in her sleep now, but back to this real quick, because we already covered this, but it's always good. This is the main entry point of our business. So it's so key to know. So I'm like happy to go over it again. The introduction is the key because you need to help them feel settled and focused on them. A favorite question is like basically the gist of how can I help? Just think about how good that question feels if you were trying to explore something like how can I be helped? This is puts them in the driver's seat of finding out what they want. Now, what are we talking about today? Then literally, honestly, I almost ask like every one of these questions. I do it conversationally, not like an intake form like, like Lindsay was talking about. And this piece right here, and I'm not going to move forward on this one until I get five or six really good things. And I love this one down here at the bottom. This one usually is the one that wraps it up for me. These two right here, and I love the placement of them. What would it mean for you to be at your healthy place again? Because that's like, they're going to tell you a little bit what they want, but what does it mean for them? That's a huge one. And then what's your main motivation to make this change? That's a huge one right there as well. And then down here, it says share your story. Like Lindsay covered in the call with Ashley, it's an artwork that you want to weave that in at some point to validate something. You don't make it about yourself. Don't go on and on and on. But like, if they say like, oh man, like, I don't know if I can do this. I'm so busy. I can tell them, you know what? I work 60 hours a week and this is actually something that made it work for me. I had the same I was scared about the same thing, but it worked. Oh, I, can't, I don't know if I kept my weight off or whatever the case may be. Validate their concern with your story. And then over here, if you do this part right, you should have about a third to half of this answer by the time you get over there. Like Lindsay said, if you're a pro. And here, uh, we won't go into all the details, but the point is, is, do you feel really confident? So the check mark today would be like, do you know how to do a quality health assessment? Because the last thing, and here's how to know you're doing a really quality one is you are looking for integrated clients that want to take on their health journey and ultimately move forward and pay for open people that are ready to like be vibrant and take on their health. If you're looking for someone to sign up, you have the wrong context on what we're doing here. So I would encourage you, especially newer coaches, because again, sometimes we're just looking for the wins. And you know what? That's how I got started. I started a diet when I started this plan. So you know what? Take people where they are. But really, what are you fishing for? Are you fishing for a strong, integrated client that's ready to link arms with you? Like why Lindsay said it's so important to bring it to the phone? Or are you just looking for someone to sign up? Spend that time investing in the beginning, my friends. It's well worth it. Someone was looking at our clients recently. They're like, well, that person started in like 2014, 2013. I was like, yeah, I take care of my clients when they got started. That's why they're still here. That's why they're still healthy. So anyways, moving forward. Good stuff? I'm going to assume so. Moving forward. Last piece. Text integration, Facebook group calls. This is where we're going to kind of wrap it up and this will lead us into next week. Sending the text campaign. Are you doing that? Is it saved to your home screen? Lindsay, I love your lesson when you did that the other, the, uh, a little bit ago. Uh, or the, I'm like, that call. Adding to the Facebook group right away and really helping them feel active. Like I love when I see the support threads or if I'm on an integration call, like, oh, you should share that in the support page. Heck, yeah, they need to be guided to the party. Make sure you're spending time with them to get integrated. Because if they catch fire in the in the coach or in the client page, I know they're not going back. I love me some on fire people in the support page. I love people getting community. That's how you know your clients are doing really well. Calling them in the first four days. They may not answer. You may miss a day. Don't don't beat yourself up. But really, that's your investment in getting them into the fat burn in the first four days will pay off dividends long term. And Lindsay's like nodding intensely or intensely right now. I love it. Help them get into a strong fat burn and layering coaching each time. Let the text messages do the detail work. You do the relationship work on the calls. That's how you move people into full integration early. And then don't miss the one week integration calls. Those are magic for those that talk about that. And that just really goes back to like what Lindsay and Ashley talked about. Really layer the four components. Make a suggestion on which plan that they should follow and kind of lay that out, but no, let them know there's options. But let them know that the breakthrough point is the community, working with your, with your support and what that looks like, plugging into the habits of health. And um, yeah, that's all of them right there. Like give the details of what that looks like and find out how they can have breakthrough. Just spend a little extra time 
you'll get way more results on this. And then everything duplicates in your business. So watch when they come on, they only know how to do that for other people too. Lindsay, any last thing you want to say on that? Because I know you're like a pro at this. Yeah, I would actually love to add something on the, um, the integration call portion of it really fast. So shout out to Julie Pavone. She has been pulling me in to integration calls and she had a client that was kind of wavering and we hopped on an integration Zoom with her and we just, we had such a great time on the Zoom and it was so fun. Fast forward, two weeks later, her husband joined um, the program, this client's husband, and we're exploring coaching with her on Monday. So the integration call was so key. This client was about to give up on their health journey and Julie pulled me in for an integration call and now this person is exploring coaching. So it just speaks volumes to how important it is to pull people into our community and as that credibility. We'll cover a little more about that next week too because that leads right into Dan's sponsoring boot camp. But again, great job. Shout out to Julie. Nice job. You're amazing. And that's really where it leads us on the call here today is the really last checkbox here is do you have fire, focus, connections, and consistency? I know you guys do. I see it. But just the reminder, or are you helping your team get this? Because it really just comes down to making connections and filling your funnel. It really is true. And we all know that this slide here rings true. So the last thing, the very last thing as we wrap up today, if you want to know how to have an on-fire business, after the pulse check, all the stuff, a lot of you guys, like take a few minutes to just get this stuff short back to this call, go right into action, is do you know where you need to be going to the next bit of the month? I was having a great conversation. Actually, it was you, Lindsay. I was like, that's a good conversation. I can't even remember. You were like, wow, like, Things in my business, I'm just like, oh, that is where I need to go next. Always having that next little step in front of you, very clearly focus on it. Putting a lot of those steps together is how you grow and help a lot of people. So I'm going to ask you today, the last checkbox, do you have fire and clear focus and consistency on where the next step in your business is at? So I'll tell you, when I, I can watch a business that hits the same mark every single month, and it's like that person just doesn't know that they could easily grow. Like it wouldn't take any more effort. They just have to know what they have to do. So I'm going to go over these real quick. I swear to go. Uh, don't give me a slide. Oh, there we go. So if you're not a senior coach yet, that is your next step. That is your main focus over these next few weeks, help people break through. Shoot up the manager. No one's stopping you. But like your next few clients getting into this rhythm. If you're already there, this is the next mark. Really strive. I'd actually take manager out of the, the picture. Associate director or director. It means you have you know, seven or probably like eight to 12 clients, maybe on the lower side, and your first coach going senior coach. The income really jumps at this level, but also it's the time where the fire starts to build in your business. So if you're a senior coach, this is your next focus for this month. And then you could probably do more, but I'm just letting you know the stair steps. Dawn's not because she knows exactly that this is true. So is April. She's like, yep, that's so true. Building blocks. Next step is executive. That's the main step after senior coach. You can do it a few different ways. You can do it all clients while you're growing. You can do it 14 or 15 clients and your first coach going senior coach or the three and two, which is you know about 10 or 11 clients and one or two senior coaches. Either way, there's another big income jump. For just a few more clients, you're going to almost double your income. So this is a huge one. Plus it ups your rolling bonus. Plus it fills your funnel. Plus all your stuff. It's a huge step. So are you focused? Plus if you want to go on the cruise. This is your next step. You got to hit that this month or you know here soon. So that, do you know that's your next step? Here's the next big one. If you're already executive director, by the way, DJ, I saw that you hit this. By the way, I, I just saw it random. I want to give you props on this because it's very easy to say to executive director. If you're executive director right now, are you hungry to get to that eight thousand or above mark? Really filling your funnel, getting that income up there, filling like those abundant clients. And then bringing on your first one, two, or three coaches and helping them get a good start in there. A lot of you guys are there. Congratulations. But if you're the executive director, Mark, are you honed in on this? Because it's so doable with two weeks left a month. If you're already at that step, FIBC is your next step. You know, getting your frontline volume at 10,000 or above, that's where magic really happens. That's where the income goes up a ton. Like, April, I wish I could show your income for the last like year, just watching it, just take. Nothing gigantic each month, just watching it, just continue to grow. You had a great month last month. Congratulations. Oh, a lot of you guys did, but this is the next mark for you. So I, you guys know very clearly what you're shooting for. And then if you're at that mark, then your next mark is integrated national or global. Again, running that high frontline volume, having abundance, working through lines. Make sure you always know what the next step is for your business. Because as long as you know what the next step is, your action will fill it. It's kind of like the same theory to like 
as much time as you allot to a task is how long it will take. Does anyone know what I'm talking about on that? Like if you gave, like April, you gave hour and a half to your task at Facebook in the morning, eventually you learned that all you needed was 30 minutes. It got just as much done in 30 minutes. The hour, like was it? Anyways, you guys get the picture. You guys get it? So promise me, actually, on the last, the last feedback, drop me, because like, you guys are all tens here. Drop me a 10 in the chat if you are clear and focused on your next step of your business next. And if not, you're going to reach out to your support team on that. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the businesses as I wrap up here. When someone catches that fire on when it makes sense for where they're going next and it just keeps rolling and steamrolling and you can't stop and the amount of people's lives are changing and the up tempo of it because, you know, adding gasoline to the fire is a difference maker. Nothing makes me more stoked than when someone sees their next step clearly. And nothing honestly makes me sadder when someone just feels stuck and they can't see the next step and they don't realize it's just by all they got to do is put their foot out. So just want to make sure you guys are clear on that, hungry and focused for your next step, one step at a time, so you guys are all pressure. All right, that is the training today. You guys are all amazing, great job, on fire, here's the action step. And I really broke it down to like really, really do these. Honestly, it'll be awkward if you don't. I'm just going to throw it out there. It's going to be awkward if you are on this training and you don't do these steps. It's going to be like, oh, you didn't do that. That's weird. Anyways, just being on club. Sorry, guys. Um, 15th of the month, pulse check. Map and a decision where you want to be by the end of the month. Do what the pros do. They change the most lives. Check number two. Send over a pic of your map. Your top 10, if you want to go for bonus points, your top 10 people. This is all about the people, everyone. Like, let's make sure. When the more we talk about people, again, I don't know why, but people that talk about real people, not like, oh, I have a few people or something. No, I'm talking to Susie Q. I'm talking to my cousin. Oh, this person that was on my list, like, like Sarah Gray, you, your client that started last week, you were like, I've been talking about her for a year. So send over your top 10 or more, whatever your intentional list is. Send over that picture so your support team can see the people that you really care about, that you want to see before. What your frontline volume is today and what you're projecting for. If you don't know how to project your frontline volume, connect with your support team and they will show you because you have premier orders sitting there. And if your clients are getting taken care of, they're gonna place those orders. Um, and, just, and then lastly, and the most important, is the decision on where you want to be by the end of the month, that's step two. If you're a new coach, send over at least whatever you have and just let them know what you want to do by the end of the month. They'll link on to me. <clears throat> and then lastly, like we talked about, ask if there's anything that you need to connect on for a few minutes, if you need to. Like I already kind of gave the layout for that, but. Always err on the side of making time to connect. You don't want to short change your business. Put the time in that it needs. Number three, lead with your health. Boom, done. I think, yeah, Tim and Kelly covered that. Number four is if you don't have the checkbox, really, really, really commit to the 10, three, and three. Like, I care too much about you guys not to really put this, like, really, really commit to it. And again, progress over perfection. If you only are, if you're getting this down, then just count the wins, but really set your bar at the 10, three and three, unless you're too busy with all the other stuff that's going on. You have a, you have a call pass. If you have so much going on that you have no time to get to three, three and three, but everyone else, three, three, 10, three, three, um, last one. And cool. We ended up right on time. Be sure that you are 100% clear on what you need to be on the crew. If you don't know, that should be part of your goals. But I want all of you on there with us. That's why I'm going to wake up early tomorrow and just check all the people that are close to executive director. I'm going to make a post in the morning. I'm also going to congratulate all the people already at the executive director already on the month, all the big thinkers. And that is our Saturday training. My friends, check, check, check. I love the checks. You guys are crushing it. I just am like amazed to be powered, like to be with so many awesome people. Keep believing in yourself. The Breakthrough Bootcamp led us to where we are right now. Believe in that breakthrough. Keep taking the steps. And um, that's all I got for you guys. You guys are on fire. Go do the steps. Now that you know what works, go do it. And that's why we want to finish up on time. Go do these steps right now. All right. Go have a great Saturday, everyone. Appreciate you all. Keep living on fire. Show people what it's really like to live a life in optimal health. Yeah. All right. Appreciate you guys. Talk to you guys all later. Oops, let me stop sharing the screen. Let me see it all before I leave. All right. Thank you for all the leaders that shared and everyone who dropped bombs in the chat. Amazing stuff. See you guys all later. Thanks, Brad. Bye, guys.